Welcome, one and all, to a brand new Let's Play. Welcome back to Thionite Plays Stardew Valley, the 1.6 update. Oh my goodness, I have been waiting for this for quite a while. Oh, this is going to be great. We are back. We are returning to Stardew Valley. We are returning to Pelican Town. We are returning to brand new Stardew Valley content. We are doing, that is correct, an entirely new playthrough of Stardew Valley to celebrate the release of the 1.6 update. Oh, this is good. This is going to be, this is going to be a fun time. If you like Stardew Valley Expanded, you are probably going to enjoy this. Oh, the, I have been, I have been looking forward to this for quite a while. Oh, this is going to be, this is going to be very nice. Let's get right into this. Oh, I'm so curious. Oh my God, we have new farm types. Oh, I am going to, before we look at the farm types, allow me to introduce our new character. This is Colin Derwall, our newest protagonist for this wonderful Let's Play. Oh my goodness gracious, we have not yet named the farm because I do not know what farms I have the options to choose from, but I believe there might be new animal preferences oh my gosh i am so curious what do they all look like oh they got little scarves on the doggos i think we need to go with the sassy cat we definitely need to go with the sassy cat because that's just what we're all about i'm so curious about what the new farms are the standard farm the riverland farm forest hilltop wilderness and four corners we are all familiar with them as well as the beach farm classic lovely beach farm what is the new farm i have no idea what the new farm is i have maintained an air of ignorance to every new feature about 1.6 i know nothing about what is coming which i think is going to make this playthrough all the sweeter the meadowlands farm it's not the best for growing crops but there's a chewy blue grass that animals love you start with two chickens Oh, so instead of a instead of a, a a crop focus with all of your lovely fruits and vegetables, this is probably going to be animal focused. Ah, uh, I'm very curious. There's a chewy blue grass that animals love. I wonder what kind of effect that will have. We are absolutely doing the Meadowlands farm because I want something brand spanking new, and our farm name is going to be. Honeydew Farm. That is the land upon which we will build our new life. Honeydew Farm will be the home for the foreseeable future of Colin Derwall. Our favorite thing is, of course, loot because we are a loot goblin. We love, love, love our loot. We're going to be doing... Are we going to randomize anything? Oh, should we go into the advanced settings and randomize anything? I feel like we need to just for the heck of it. I don't know if I remixed in the expanded playthrough i may have i always like doing remixed bundles because it adds an air of mystique to what i need to do which is going to be interesting we are absolutely spawning monsters on the farm and we are absolutely remixing the mines profit margin that can stay normal i rarely if ever change that the random seed legacy randomization huh new options we gotta love concerned apes desire to include so much options the random seed will truly be random i have no idea what we're going to be yeah, we're not picking a random seed so we're going with that nice we are not skipping the intro because i don't know if anything's changed colin durwall the lord and master of honeydew farm we shall gladly see where this adventure takes us Oh, this is going to be great. This is going to be great. I've been waiting for this for so long. Oh, Stardew Valley, a triumphant return. <gasps> Granddad, I haven't seen you in an age. For my very special grandson. Take this note. It's a $20 note. I'm going to need you to buy a, a bag of lettuce from Lewis. Take this sealed envelope. Lewis will know what to do with it. Don't ever break the purple seal. Lewis will know. If you if you break the purple seal, he will know immediately that you have looked beyond what you're capable of right now. Don't. Uh, uh, not until you're ready. There will come a day 
when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life, and that is when you will know that you are capable of breaking the seal. He has a Junimo plush on his fireplace. I never realized there's so much. I always skip the intro, so I never realize so much. Your bright spirit will begin to fade. That is the call of the void. As a farm owner, you will experience the call of the void significantly often. Every time your crops get struck by lightning, or a stray crow gets a bit too uppity, shall we say, that's, that's when the desire just... You gotta work through it, my boy. You gotta work through it. Joja! Oh my god, Joja. We've got the two sentinels standing in the bulletproof glass because, you know, it, it's, it, it's Joja, of course. They won't spring for clean desks, but man, will they spring for three-foot steel bulletproof glass. Anything to protect their assets. Look at my posters. They're multicolored. And again, these monitors. The monitors are massive. Like, the mouse, the mouse of the monitor is nearly as big as my entire face, which is kind of crazy. And it only has two but it doesn't even have a scroll wheel, that's kind of inconvenient. And my pencil isn't even sharp. The letter, I must read the letter. I have been crushed by mortal life, and now I must break the seal. Dear Colin Durwall, if you're reading this, then you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I had lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with other people, nature, loot, the Junimos, so many things. I dropped everything once I had that realization, and I moved to a place I truly belonged. I've enclosed the deed to that very place, my pride and joy, Honeydew Farm. It's located in the tiny little town of Stardew Valley. It's on the southern coast, so beware of tsunami season. It, it's all it, it's right on the beach, so it's a bit of a it's a bit of a precarious nature if it uh, ever starts to rain. Just take some of the sand from the beach. It'll it'll help. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to that old guy. And, and again, the twenty dollar note. Make sure he gets it. It's it's quite important that he he he, he gets it, especially if he's still alive. Because if he's dead, I, I i mean, I guess you can buy a gumball with it. I don't, I don't know how much inflation has artificially in, 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 induced a, a bubblegum price hike. It's like a bubble, you know, like the, the bubble. It, it's You pop the bubble, and it's a bubble. I'm sorry, my boy. I'm not the most articulate of people. Half a mile to Stardew Valley. Look at that bird. It's like a tiny chicken, but it's a bird. Because chickens are birds. I need to think of names for more animals. Oh, dear God. <laughs> oh, that's going to be... <laughs> uh, where is Gengar? Hello, you must be Colin Derwall. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. Oh, I'm so curious about what my farm looks like. He's up there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here if you'll follow me. Oh, this is gonna be great. This is, this is gonna be, I have, I, I admittedly, I have had a hankering. Oh, the blue grass. We already have a barn. Oh, this, oh my gosh, the farm. <laughs> oh, this is, oh, oh boy. This is gonna be so much fun. I have been, I have been having an, I, I've been itching to play some Stardew Valley. So I am so glad to make a return to the valley. This is Honeydew Farm. Oh my God, this looks great. Well, I mean, the, the the state of the farm could look a bit better, admittedly, but uh, that's what I'm here to fix. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath all this mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time, I'm sure. No doubt about that. Robin, I feel like I've known you for an extended period of my life. And here we are, your new home. <laughs> this is gonna be great. Lewis! Oh my god, you old so-and-so with your stupid green undershirt and your yellow clashing tie and your suspenders and your stupid little hat. Oh, I've missed you. Ah, oh, the old farmer. The new farmer. Sorry, I feel like I've known you in another life. Are you going to try and blackmail me, Lewis? Because I feel like... I feel like a lot of old grudges have not yet settled. The blacksmith. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite the big deal. Oh my god, they tell me about it. It's not every day someone is handsome and is suave and 
sophisticated as me, Charles. Charles? No, my friends can call me Charles. None of you have earned the right to call me Charles yet. It's Colin. You're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. Yes, I most certainly am. It's a good house. Very rustic. Yes, rustic. That's how I would put it. It's one, yes, me and Robin. We're birds of a feather, peas in a pod. Crusty. I mean, I got a lot of wood stored up, so at least I won't freeze to death in the middle of winter this time next year. Don't listen to her, Colin Derwall. You, I, I, you could just call me Colin. You don't have to call me, you don't have to do the first name and the last. We're, we're acquaintances. You could call me, you just call me Colin. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied that you buy one of her house upgrades. I will trade at least three metric tons of eggs. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to focus on animals, aren't I? <laughs> oh, who knows how well that's going to work. We are going to make millions off of truffle oil. Oh man, Robin's giving us that side eye. That's kind of crazy. Anyway, you must be tired. Yeah, I like to ramble. <laughs> oh, do I like to ramble. If you're new to the Thionite gaming community, I like to ramble and I will artificially, well, not artificially, I will intentionally, unintentionally ramble about nothing for 50 minutes straight without a problem. So if you don't like rambling, <laughs> oh, fair warning. You are in for something in this series. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that, I'm sure. I will introduce myself post haste. I will absolutely do so. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night, two in the morning, every night, because I have extremely potent insomnia. So I kind of just don't sleep. I exist and maintain my youthful appearance after three centuries on the puerile power of truffle oil. Don't ask why truffle oil is essentially the fountain of youth. It's not super important. Well, good luck. Goodbye, Lewis. Goodbye, Robin. I am going to enjoy the amenities of my new house. Oh my God, that must be one of my chickens. They must be one of my chickens. I am going to have to name the chickens. Oh wow, presents. Oh, they gave me my own pitchfork. 15 pieces of hay? I got 15 pieces of hay. I didn't get, I didn't get, um, beat parsnips. It's been a hot minute since I played Stardew. I haven't touched Stardew since the end of Expanded. Oh my gosh, I have to reacclaim my, reacquaint myself. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. Oh, this is, I, wait, what? Level one? What is all of this? Oh, is that my housing level? This is a new menu. This is so cool. Social, does that, has that changed? You, <laughs> we will be <laughs> talking to you, <laughs> probably. Oh my God, oh, I'm so glad to be, I'm so glad to be here. Oh my God, this is great. I have no mods installed, so this is a pure 1.6 playthrough. Oh, the crafting. A text sign. You can write a custom sign message. Oh my God. Oh, this is gonna be great. I have Coco and Goldie. Oh my God, I don't get, I don't have to, I don't have the responsibility of naming them. Oh my God, look at this. I, I have an indication of when they've been pet. This is the greatest. This is the greatest. <laughs> this is the best. What is this? What? This is the, the leak proficiency. That's the key to the town. Sewer key? These are all, this is the magic ink, the shadow pendant. What on earth? New key items? Oh my God. No, it's spring one. It's spring one. We're going to get spring onions. Nothing will stop me from getting spring onions today. If I, I have a single goal on the first episode and it is to get spring onions. Oh my God, I need to get spring onions. Oh my God, the fish. Are there new fish? I feel like the fish tab has increased. I don't recognize these ones. Oh my God, there's gonna be, this is gonna be so much fun. Oh, this is gonna be so much, uh, this is gonna, I am so down for 1.6 Stardew Valley. This is gonna be great. Oh my God, the cooking. I'm going to make so many fried eggs. Oh my God, I'm so excited for this. This is great. Oh, I am so beyond excited for this. Oh, our achievements. Earn 15,000, 10 different fish. Read read every book? Interesting. 
delight the governor, good neighbors. Help your forest neighbors grow their family. Pardonnez-moi, s'il vous plaît, pour que? Estas como esta? I don't know what that means. Infinite power. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Colin Durwall, by the end of this adventure, will have unlimited power. Oh my god, I cannot. <laughs> this, this is going to be the greatest adventure that we ever set out upon. Oh my god, this is great. Oh, <laughs> oh, this is, I am so excited for this. I am so beyond excited for this adventure. Oh my god. The bluegrass. Let's check out our dudes. Oh wow, this looks great. We need to let out our little friends. Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god, Coco. Oh, Goldie, Goldie and Coco. Oh, this is... I am, I am so ecstatic. I am ecstatic to be back at the valley. This is great. I love this so much. Let's start today by cleaning out Coco and Goldie's enclosure. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I am, I am just... I am blown away. Oh my, I have been waiting for this. Oh, I am, I, it's just, oh my gosh. I don't have the words. This is gonna be, this is gonna be, this is gonna be quite the adventure. I can, I can see it in my mind's eye. I'm going to keep the blue grass and some of the other grass because that's what everyone is going to eat in case I need to make emergency, you know, uh, food. I will continually keep their feed fed just so I don't necessarily have to uh, worry about like a rainy day, I suppose. Oh, this is going to be great. Maybe, ooh, we need to probably go take a trip to Pierre's because I do want to get some parsnip seeds. I want to plant something, probably 15, getting started. Harvest an egg from your chickens. Oh, even the starting quests have changed. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Feed your chickens each day by letting them eat grass outside or by placing hay into their troughs. Once they are mature, harvest an egg. Neat. Okay, so I don't necessarily even have to uh, go harvest some parsnips. What does the farm even look like? I definitely want to start off by making a chest because that's quite important to me. But what does what does the, the farm look like? I am so curious. Let's 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 get the lay of the land. So there's our greenhouse. This is going to be and there's even more blue grass. I I have no idea what the blue grass does aside from, you know, being very pleasing to my ears. Colin Derwall loves blue grass. We even have a little river. Oh, I wonder if we can get back up around there. This is going to be, oh, I am, this is, <laughs> I am blown away by this. The Meadowlands Farm. This is going to be so much fun. Can we get down south from here? I really hope we can. This place is really big. Oh, we have a nice little uh, uh, fence area around this entire enclosure. Well, that'll set the boundaries of the farm quite nicely. Let's get rid of a few more trees because I do want to get to foraging level one. At the very least, that way we can, although I suppose foraging is not, or not foraging, is it foraging? I think it might be foraging, it's been a while, um, but that'll allow us, that is a big tree. What is with the big tree? That's a big tree. Wow, those are quite large trees. I miss having my shortcut though. Oh my, wow, these are some massive trees. Very big trees. I don't know what... I don't, that's that's kind of shocking. I wonder how much of stuff has changed. Because it's been a hot minute since I've done vanilla Stardew. And it's been a hot minute since we've done Expanded. Oh, this is going to be... I am all here for this. This is going to be so much fun. So, so much fun. So many birds. Where are they? Where, oh my god, they're there. <laughs> they're there. Look at this spring onions i will not make the same mistake twice i will learn from every one of my past failures and all of my regrets and i will harvest those immediately instantaneously i will not force myself to wait until winter of year three to buy more of those Oh my god, hello, uh, orange hair wood. I am more ginger than you are. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Hello, Leia. You picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. I am absolutely sure that it is. Hello, small child. Hi. 
Hello, uh, my name is Colin. You may call me Colin. I am here to introduce myself. Your Lewis's pants are not in Marnie's room. Where is his underwear? I have an immense desire for Lewis's underwear for completely innocent reasons. Let's try and go to Pierre. Yeah, let's... Maybe we want to clear a path all the way up, probably. Because, um... Are we gonna... We don't have a silo, so I'm gonna leave a lot of this grass around. Ooh, 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 ooh. A spot. What is it going to contain? One singular rock. Oh, th oh, there's my... There's the cave. Okay, so the cave is down there. Can I dig up this dirt area? No! Oh, so I can't. So this is probably going to, like, exclusively be real dedicated towards, um, like, uh, harvesting, like, animal produce and products. Okay, that's actually going to be a pretty fun change of pace for me, because I rarely focus, like, super heavily on that kind of stuff. That is going to be something I am quite pleased to do. Oh, that is going to be, that is going to be a fun time, isn't it? Let's put all of our stuff away. Uh, that, 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 that. All of this. Oh, my God. This is great. Organize my inventory. Yes. Yes. What is up here? Oh, is that where... That's probably where... There's a staircase. Oh, that's probably where... Okay, so our warp thing is up there. This is... This is great. This is great. We're even getting some forgeables. This is fantastic. Fantastic. The first episode of any Stardew series is literally just going to be me saying, this is going to be great, on repeat, over and over and over again. Hello, Harvey. I have met you in another life. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. I perform regular... Reg, I, I make people good and well, not necessarily good with word. Medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town are my expertise. It's rewarding work. Oh, I'm so glad you enjoy your work. I should probably talk about the nature of this series. If you are familiar with the Stardew Valley Expanded series that I have previously done, you will be aware of the fact that we did that to perfection. From 0 to 100, all things completed. I do not know if we are going to go for the same thing in this series. I don't know if we're going to go to perfection. It's a distinct possibility, but it's also... Oh my god, bread. Nice, I got some trash baguettes. Incredible. What a way to start. I definitely want more forgeables. You've got some new ideas to sleep on. Does that mean... Oh, is that like a little... Oh, that's probably a little notice that you leveled up. Oh, that is adorable. I love that. You probably learned some new recipes. That's great. Why, hello and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. I would very much love that. Granny Evelyn, I am so glad to make your acquaintance this fine evening. Hello, Caroline. Jody. Oh, it's been a hot minute. Hello, you must be Colin Derwall, the new farmer. I'm Carolyn. We both start with the letter C, so we're going to be fast friends. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. I didn't expect someone so just vibrant red hair. You know what, Caroline? We're going to be fast friends, so you can have this daffodil. Yes, I know my flowers. I've played this game enough. Hello, small child. A stranger. My name's Vincent. We have similar color hair. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but anyone with, you know, crimson hair has got to be a friend. Your mother is absolutely correct. You shouldn't talk to strangers unless they have the same color hair as you. Let's get these parsnips in the ground, because nothing says... I am, I can use, I can eat my trash baguette to restore my energy. I am going to do so. How much energy? Oh, a nice little buff. This is great. This is so much, I am going to have so much fun with this. Oh, we're in it for the long haul because a lot of the content for this that I am aware of, I will say, while I am completely blind to the specifics, what I am familiar with is the teaser image that Concerned Ape released, uh, like that, that, with has like all of the uh the the blow like the little blurbs like a new farm type or a new event or new winter clothing like that i'm familiar with that but none of the actual specifics so it should be pretty great to run into those that'll be fun times for us i do so certainly imagine let's clean out some of this area first 
and then we will be able... Oh, we got some coal. Nice. Um, yeah, we should be fine. 25 seeds? Sure, why not? Where is our wonderful hoe? One, two, three, four, five. One, three, four, five. Perfect. It's going to be a perfect square. I'm going to have a square full of parsnips. But aside from that, while I'm planting these parsnips, because we got to love planting crops all over again, I think I'm going to stick with the same type of format that I did for Stardew Valley Expanded, which is probably going to be, I'm going to do this in an episodic nature insofar as there's going to be probably two or three days per episode and all of the episodes, they'll probably average out to be around 50-ish minutes, depending on how much I ramble and how much I pause and how much time everything takes. So it's going to be a fun adventure. We'll be taking this a few days at a time. It'll be a nice, chill, relaxing experience for Colander Wall and every one of you along for the ride. It's going to be quite fun, I most certainly imagine. Let's put all of our stuff away. All of our animals. Should they be allowed to wander? They should probably be allowed to wander. It would be cruel of me to deny my sweet animals freedom. So if they if they want to run out, hmm, maybe I don't want to necessarily allow them free reign just yet. How, can we get to the other side? We might need to build a bridge at some point. I don't actually know the layout of this farm completely, but it's 6 p.m. So... Who knows what I'm going to be doing for... I have very little energy, so I suppose we should just explore the valley and see what comes of our explorations. See if anything drastic has changed. Introductions. Right, 9 of 28 people. We need to find more people to introduce ourselves to. <gasps> Linus! Oh my god, Linus. It has been a long time. Hello, my friend. A stranger? Oh, uh, hello. Don't mind me. I just live out here alone. More power to you. I am going to... Take that leak, because I need as many things as possible for many different reasons. Because, again, if you do not know Thionite Gaming, Thionite Gaming, that is me. Hello, welcome, welcome to the channel. I hoard everything always. Robin! Have you met everyone in town yet? Uh, n no. And it is exhausting. I am literally about to pass out from exhaustion. Wait, Demetrius, don't phase through your wife. Save that for the bedroom. Greetings, I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thank you for introducing yourself. I am quite well acquainted with your property already. I've already sourced several permits to potentially gain access to your farm as long as we pass a credit check occasionally. Are you the son of Robin? Oh, you just moved in, right? Cool, cool. Are you going to give me your name? Out of all the places you could live, you chose Pelican Town? I chose Pelican Town because I got the land for free. It's an inherited. I'm a trust fund kid, believe it or not. My grandfather is quite well off. Can I knock down acorns yet? I am level one, so I should definitely be able to knock down acorns. If I cannot knock down acorns after a good night's sleep, I have drastically failed my grandfather. Day one. Which is... A disappointment to me. Maru! Oh my god, hello, Maru. Aren't you the one who just moved in? I am indeed. I am Colin Durwall. I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. I am greatly pleased to make your acquaintance. You know, with a small town like this, a new face can really alter the community dynamic. It's quite exciting. Hopefully, I will alter it so it's nigh on imperceivable. I don't have a fishing rod. I saw those bubbles and I'm like, fish? Because nothing says I am proficient at this game than wanting to fish. I definitely want to fish in the fountain. I have an immense desire to fish in the fountain. <gasps> more flowers. I definitely need more and more and more of those. Wow, daffodils. That's great. I love them. I wonder... Honestly, one thing I wonder about this particular playthrough is how lucky we're going to be getting for all of the things that are happening. What is this? Bookseller? Mystery events? The Flower Dance, the Egg Festival, Bookseller. Bookseller? What is with these stars? Oh, there are new things abound. Oh my goodness gracious, new things. I am so hyped for this. Oh, I want to see the new things. I want to see everything. 
Because I know I one of the things that I am aware of, I think I tried to get into this before, but I got sidetracked, which is something that you will absolutely come to realize happens a lot, is that a lot of, or well, maybe not a lot, but some of the new content for 1.6 is late game, like end game content. And I am extremely curious about what that is going to be. Very, very curious. Because I did, I did see, I did see a screenshot of like a Joja pigeon parrot on Ginger Island, and I'm just so curious. I'm so curious. Once we get to Ginger Island, this is gonna be, this is gonna be great. Because presumably Ginger Island hasn't changed that much, and we'll probably be able to get a farm up and running on Ginger Island. So who knows? The metric, I, I'll say this, the metric for the luck in this particular playthrough will be based entirely on how fast we find an ancient seed. Depending on how fast we find an ancient seed, that will determine everything else about this series. It's going to be great. 10 o'clock. Let's go to bed a bit early because I don't think there's necessarily anything else for us. We planted all of our parsnips, so we're good on that front. We pet and fed our chickens, which is good. We also have some emergency Joja Cola. We love Joja Cola. No, we don't. We do not anything but Joja Cola. A slime. I am going... Oh, wow. We are taking our first bits of damage, people. I want to start off the night by killing a slime. Go away. Go away. I will destroy you. Critical hit. Nice. We defeated our first enemy. That's incredible. I love that so much. We are big monster hunters right now. One bit of slime. Great. Good, 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 good. Do we need anything else? Uh, we got our plants. Hopefully we don't have to worry too much about any kind of stray animals. I would hate for that to happen. We even have a bench. Wow. Wait, we have an armchair? Oh my god, we can sit next to the fireplace. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, we might need to reorganize the house one of these days. Is there a question mark? Why is there a question mark? Let's go to bed. Level one foraging. Trees sometimes drop seeds, axe proficiency, spring wild seeds, and field stacks. Oh, my goodness gracious. Having that level up sound is going to be so good. Mail. Oh, my God, the mail. Advertisement. I'll keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is too full. Does it sound like you? Well, Pierre has got the deal for you. Stop by Pierre's general store today and check out our affordable size 24 backpack. See you soon. Hello there. Just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I got something for you. Wiley. Oh my god, Wiley has made first contact. We have made first contact with our fishy boy. I will water the crops. I default to watering the crops. My priority needs to be my animals. Luckily for us, this seems to be... Oh, I'm out of water. Luckily for us, these, this seems to be like one of the only places that have... No, keep that open. Uh, like tillable ground, which I am all for. Because uh, once I get that ground, you know, sprinklered up, I won't actually have to worry about much else, which is going to be fantastic. Because as long as I don't have to worry about, like, 300 open plots of ground, I am all for it. But going for animals this particular playthrough is going to be, I think, something to definitely shoot for. That is the hoe, not the axe. I do not tear up trees with my hoes. I do so with my extremely dull axes. At this point, I'm, I'm more just tearing the tree down with brute force than anything else. But that is fine. Let me get some more debris. Just a little bit of debris. I feel like if we work a little bit at farm cleanup, a little bit every day, we'll be good. Which will be fine. What do we want to do for day two? I have no idea what's going to be happening on this particular playthrough. Like, the early game of Stardew Valley has always taken a little bit to warm up, which is perfectly fine and acceptable. But I'm always curious about what is going to happen. What is going to happen indeed? What does it look like when I change the animals? Oh, we pet them already? That's great. That's great. Unfortunately, I I will say this. Of the mods that I previously used, I really miss being able to see where everyone is on the map. I really miss seeing that. Maybe we should give out more gifts. 
I want to look at more places around the farm. There are a lot of stumps all over the place, which is beneficial. I can get some hardwood that way. I'm all for that. Let's clear out a path to different areas of the farm, because I do want to see how far... Because this, this does go to the river. Do we have... Because there are a lot of, like, rocks and stones and debris over there, so I am wondering if we can get over there. If we can, I'm not sure how we would. Maybe... Maybe there's a way... Oh, there's a bridge. Okay, so we need an axe upgrade before we can get to the north, because there is a bridge. Okay, so that's that explains that. Where else do we need to go? Where else can we go? So this entire area... I could, oh no, this is definitely tillable ground. I could till over here if I wanted to. So it's not completely impossible to set up a farm. It would just be a bit out of the way at the moment. Hmm, so many plans. So many plans for decorating this farm. It's gonna be great. Oh, we're gonna have so much fun with this. So, so, so much fun with this. If you're liking the idea, the mere idea of this series drop a like right now throw throw your support into the ring i would love to see it give it up for stardew valley returning for thionite gaming this is going to be quite the adventure take a shot every time i say something to the effect of wow that's so cool or oh my god it's gonna be quite the adventure because that i i say that a lot once 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 the initial shock of we're back baby wears off then we'll be like okay we're, we're chill, we're relaxing, we're just doing our thing, we're setting up our farm, and everything will go fantastic. It'll be great. I definitely want to get some fiber going. A pr probably not a lot of stuff is going to happen right away. At least not until we can get access to the farm. And by the farm, I definitely mean the mines, which is a completely opposite thing. Because, you know, the mines is mining and combat, and the farm is farming and farming. Let's go get the fishing rod. You know what? Let's go fishing. Because there's nothing that says I am here in town than broken glasses and quartz. Okay, I got some quartz. I am I don't have the inventory space to get any. Hello, Lewis. How are you doing? Would you care for Joja Cola? No, I'm going to save that. I'm I might need that. For my own purposes, I need to rifle through all of the trash cans. I need to... You have no idea how important this is to me. Does anyone want anything? Nothing is posted. All right. Nothing Nothing says efficient Stardew Valley play than running around to the south of your farm all the way into town and then back into your farm because, you know, you forgot to... What is this? This is a different thing. Huh? What on earth is this thing? Hold, I will be back for you. That had a different animation. Or, like, the 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 wriggling worm thing had a different sprite. Because normally they're, like, wriggling worms. But that was, like, blades of grass flowing in the breeze. Very interesting. Um, let's put the hoe away. We won't necessarily... Well, actually, let's put the... Let's put the scythe and the watering can away. We won't necessarily need them immediately. We can always take the watering can out whenever we need to water crops. Is that a carrot on the bag? What is this? Carrot seeds? Carrot seeds. We can... There are new... There are new crops? Carrot seed. I am going to immediately plant those straight into the ground. Carrot seed. I wonder how rare that is. I got no idea. Carrot seeds. Okay. Okay. I am so curious. Did that say three days? I am intensely curious about what carrot seeds are like. Oh my god, I, my seed makers. <laughs> oh my god, I wish I had a return scepter and a horse and my iridium equipment. Oh my god, I wish I had so much stuff. Before 5 p.m., let's get to the beach, get our fishing rod, and then maybe do some fishing. Oh man, the fishing compilations. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious, I am so glad to be back. I am so, so glad to be back to Stardew Valley. This is great. Oh, newspaper. Thanks, Lewis, for your trash. I am sure I'll be able to recycle it into something. Oh, bubbles. 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 
I need to get this conversation with Wiley done ASAP. As soon as I don't skip it, of course, though. I will never skip anything. Ahoy there, son. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Glad to finally meet you. It's very glad to finally meet you again, Wiley. I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Blobfish, octopi, red herrings. Finally saved up to buy myself a new rod in any way. The first place. Words escape me. Everyone, everyone in this valley has been afflicted with incredible kindness, but terrible language skills. Here, I want you to have me old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art to old fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. Once I have the funds to justify buying myself a new fishing rod, I will be buying every ounce of bait that you can possibly stock up on. A bamboo pole. Heck yes. I can now fish. There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. I'm so curious. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. Also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> That's what me old pappy used to say anyway. I am so glad for this. Oh my god, the nostalgia. The nostalgia is hitting me so hard for this. Because this is, this is great. This, this is so much fun. Let's go immediately fishing. We need to fish a few times. Oh, my first cast was not perfect. But our first cast is into a pile of bubbles. Which I feel like is going to be the best. Come on, can we get a perfect... No. We are not capable of getting a perfect cast on our first time, but we are able to get a fish. An anchovy. First catch. Neat. Oh, this is going to be... Oh. Oh, our second fish is trash. Literally. It's not a fish. It's quite literally trash. But that is the way of things. Oh, my God. We're here. Oh, we get to do our fishing mini game again. This is fantastic. I love the fishing mini game. It's my favorite part of Stardew Valley. I didn't agonize hours relentlessly trying to catch fish from all sources. Sardine. I wonder what kind of bundles we're going to need to focus on. I really wonder if the bundles have changed. I gotta wonder how much of the early game has really changed. Like, aside from aside from the farm, the Meadowlands farm is really cool. But I feel like a lot of that stuff is gonna have to wait until we get, like, more animals and stuff. Maybe in the next episode, we'll go up to Robin's to see if she has anything. Like, what a new barn or a coop would have to cost. What would that run us? What resources, materials we need to get for that? Ooh, a herring. Nice. I definitely want to do some fishing for a few hours at least in game man it's been so long i kind of do want to just fish in stardew for a few hours i'll go until it either hits a level up or oh, come on i need okay go no wait i i need to reacquaint myself to fishing okay we got the chest i wonder that should get us a pretty bit of experience Nice. Another sardine. And a treasure chest. It contains five copper ore. Wow, that's enough for... And we got a bit of coal from one of our rocks. That's enough for an entire bar. If we had a furnace, which we don't have. I'll go until we either level up fishing once, or it hits... Hold on, I'm focusing. Or it hits five o'clock. Whichever comes first. Or if the bubbles run out. So that's that's three criteria. Hopefully, I just... Because there are bubbles, I do want to... Oh, another treasure chest. Now, that's pretty lucky in my eyes. Because there are bubbles, I do want to take advantage of the bubbles. Because I love bubbles. Bubbles! Bubble, 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 bubble. Focus. Focus. Focus, Dianite. Focus, Charles. Uh, Colin. Sorry. Charles is on the mind for completely other separate reasons. Two of my other series... Oh, I leveled up. What a way to go. Oh, we got some bait. We got some seeds and some coal. Great, I will throw out, I will I will pollute our oceans, which is not something I recommend. Don't throw your newspapers into the trash. Oh, seaweed, oh. Or don't throw your newspapers into the ocean. Don't throw your trash into the ocean. He says, throwing his trash into, the, don't, don't, don't do what I do. I am a terrible person. Oh, and is that an oyster? Oh my God, an oyster. Oh my, didn't we need you? No, we needed cockles before. I'm having vague memories and recollections about things that we needed. Should I have... Oh, hello. You have orange hair and a red jacket, just as I do. Ex well, I mean, I have red hair and a black jacket, but, you know, mine is more stylish. 
the new farmer we've all been expecting and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot, Elliot Ludwig. I live in the cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. An absolute pleasure, it is all mine. Lewis, you have, I want the trash hat. I want to become the trash man. I shall become eventually the second coming of the trash man, no matter what it takes. I shall do this. It is my most solemn vow. I will, on this first episode of Stardew Valley 1.6, swear upon the good name of Durwal to become the trash man. No matter what it takes, it will happen. Upon this, I swear. And a Durwal never breaks such a solemn vow. Do we need it? We have so much. We already have so much stuff. But we did get another level up. So we could technically, you know, push ourselves to exhaustion. And I'm going to take full advantage of that by breaking more rocks. Because nothing says I am a man than breaking rocks with a pickaxe in a single swing. I greatly desire to do this. I am... Oh, I have so many ideas for where I'm going to go and take this series. Oh, it's going to be great. I have, I have, I already have so many ideas for how I want to design this farm because it's such a different layout to anything that I was expecting. Not that I had any expectations because I really didn't. I didn't have any expectations for what this particular, because I had no idea what the farm would be in the first place. So I had no idea what to expect. And I am extremely pleasantly surprised by how nice this farm looks again it's a bit overgrown but i mean finite farms that was pretty overgrown at the beginning of that and then just look at that farm where it ended it looked pretty good if i say so myself i wonder if i can get robin to move the coop because if i can move the coop like up against the the fence or maybe just like a little bit not necessarily a whole lot although it does look really nice there we'll have to see if robin can move it at all and another, another thing that I don't know if it's in the game, but I heard rumors or, you know, the backyard, back playground, uh, word on the vine, grapefruit vines, because grapefruits grow on vines. I wonder if there are grapefruits. I wonder if there are new trees. Oh, I never, I went to Pierre's and I didn't even think to check if he had any new stock. I was just like, I want parsnips, give me parsnips. And then I bought $500 worth of parsnips. So... Yeah, I'm a bit single-minded in my pursuits, admittedly, which, I mean, is fine. I really wonder, though. I am so curious about the bluegrass. Like, what is the bluegrass all about? Bats, I don't have my scythe. That's the only thing that doesn't require energy. Retreat! Retreat! Back to the farm. I'm stuck. I need to make this farm look beautiful. Oh, my God. I'm going to make this farm look beautiful. This is going to be great. Oh, my God. We're back, baby. We're back for Stardew Valley. Oh, my gosh. I can actually say that again. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. This is going to be... This is, this is I will say, like a dream come true. Being able to relatively quickly come back to the valley like this. Oh, it's just so much fun. So much fun. Because I know, I know, based on all of your wonderful comments on the Expanded series, a lot of people love that series. Which, I mean, I am, I love that fact, and I love the fact that I can bring more Stardew Valley content. Oh, this is going to be, this is going, this is going to be the start of yet another wonderful adventure. This is, this is, this is fantastic. I am so glad to be able to play more Stardew Valley, and like entirely brand new content for this. This is going to be, this is going to be, this is going to be. I'm sorry for stuttering so frequently. I'm just, I'm just, I'm, j I'm just kind of blown away that we're here. Like this feels nostalgic in a really interesting way for me specifically as a content creator. Because if I may, if I may talk a little bit outside of the game for a moment, Stardew Valley was like the third Let's Play of the channel, and it, it was one of the longest lasting series that we did last year. And Thionite Gaming as a YouTube channel is still relatively young and small. And I al despite that, though, I already have so much nostalgia for Stardew Valley and the expanded playthrough that we did. Because that, that was a ride. That was a journey. That was the first time I ever did perfection in Stardew Valley. It was the first time I experienced 
everything that Stardew Valley had to offer. And it was the first time doing a modded playthrough. It was the, that particular playthrough was the first in a lot of respects. So being able to come back to it, being able to come back to Stardew Valley as a whole for like this brand new update with so much new content already, brand new farm, brand new quests, brand new ways to play, if I'm being completely honest. We got carrot seeds. There are new vegetables. For someone who's put hundreds of hours into vanilla Stardew Valley and dozens of hours into modded Stardew Valley with a single playthrough, this is incredible to me. This is abs like I I I am blown away, speechless, one might say, about this entire thing. For the rest of this day, let's reorganize the house because we need to definitely change up the look of this because I want things to change. We need to move you. We can move you there. Let's put... We have a dresser? Oh my god, that's so convenient. Oh, you have no idea how convenient having a dresser is. Wait, I can read the thing. Can I rotate beds? I cannot rotate beds, which is fine. Can I put it up against the wall? I can. Oh my god, that's Oh, we we have little flags. Oh my god, I love the little flags. Oh, that's that's adorable. I love that. Oh my god, decorating. I this is also a second solemn vow. I will dedicate even more like actual time to decorating the house way more often and frequently. Can we move this? I can't... Okay, that's fine. So, you up there. Do that. Then move that in there. We can put the table in the corner. I am liable to pass out. <laughs> I am going to pass out, probably. And then, uh, there. Foot of the bed. Quick, get to bed! <laughs> I'm going to... Wait. No, it's not one in the morning. It's two in the morning. Okay, it's fine. I, I, I know what I'm doing. I've, I've played Stardew Valley in the past. We can have... The TV by the bed? Do we want the TV by the fireplace? Can I rotate the TV? I cannot rotate the TV. What a shame. Let's put the dresser... Can we put the dresser... I wish I could put the dresser up against the wall. It just looks like there's not enough space. We can put it over there. And then the TV can go by the bed. And we can have... Once we get another rug, we can put another rug under the bed. And it'll be beautiful. Man, we got some good decorations in the house. Oh, it's 1.30. Go to bed. <laughs> Don't pass out in the middle of the night. Fishing level one. Two level ups in one episode. That's pretty good. That is honestly pretty good. And it's raining today. Oh my goodness gracious. I think that is a fantastic start to what is going to be an adventure of a lifetime. Oh my goodness gracious. One last goodness gracious. We are back, baby. We are back. For Stardew Valley. Oh, this is going to be... I am so pleased. I am so pleased to do this. This is going to be... This is going to be so much fun. This is going to be so much fun. I can feel it. Stay tuned for more episodes of Stardew Valley. That is going to wrap up this first episode into what is going to probably be quite a long series because if expanded has taught me anything there's a lot of episodes that i'm going to have to make for this particular series and i truly truly hope that all of you watching will join us for this adventure and with that whether you watched for 30 seconds or the entire thing thank you all so much for tuning in to this first introductory episode to Thionite Plays Stardew Valley the 1.6 update. Later!